and welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Today I'm going to be giving you a real quick bench update and talk about uh, one of the models that I've done a video on previously. Well, it is no more. Okay, so the 1965 Chevrolet Impala diecast. I've done several videos over this particular model. I found it in a uh, flea market down in Georgia and I paid $10.95 for it. Brought it home, took it apart, cleaned it up, did some uh, custom wiring under the hood on the engine, was gonna change the wheels on it. I, like I said, I've done several videos on this particular model. I put it on a, uh, a Facebook yard sale site. Just kind of see what would happen. Didn't really want to sell it, but if somebody offered me the right price for it, uh, and they did, I couldn't believe it. Um, I actually asked $35 for it after paying $10.95, and I mean, it went fast. So um, it's gone, but I'm thinking that uh, I might have stumbled onto something. concept Camaro snap tight kit that my kids gave me. I've actually had to strip the paint on that and it's been sitting in uh, super clean for the last week. So let's take a look at that real quick. Now I tried to paint it red. All right, Rust-Oleum. Um, and, and I mean, great color. You can see the color in the in the super clean there. But it had several coats on there. Um, I think I had painted it twice with the red and then once with clear. So this is what it looks like after a week. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. So all it really needs now is I need to uh, finish scrubbing it with the uh, with the toothbrush. And of course, you want to use a soft bristle brush so you don't scratch or mar up the paint or the plastic. But um, I'll finish cleaning it off with that, and then I'm going to bathe it uh, in some hot water and some soap and make sure that I get the rest of the uh, the chemicals and everything out of all the little cracks and crevices. But uh, yeah, it turned out really good. Um, I ended up breaking the mirror off the side right here. Um, that's somewhere down in the bath and I'll have to fish that out and just glue it back on. But um, we're going to continue with this thing. I am going to paint it again. Um, I think what I might end up doing with this one is uh, maybe do like some kind of custom two-tone paint job on it. Um, if I can't get one tone of paint right, I must be able to do two, right? Yeah, who knows. But we'll see how that's going to work out. Um, in the meantime, I'll kind of keep you updated on this build as we go. And finally, I'm going to talk to you about my cancer awareness build. Um, I've decided to participate in the cancer awareness build project. Uh, not real sure, but I've seen a lot of you guys out there on YouTube that you're doing cancer awareness builds. Well, I have a friend of mine that uh, passed away earlier this year, April 30th uh, of this year. And she had been battling cancer f for a while. She actually thought she had it beat. Um, and, and so I'm glad that she was around for as long as she was. But uh, unfortunately in the end, she succumbed to, uh, to the disease and, uh, and she passed. Well, one of her wishes when she passed away was that we didn't mourn for her that you know we were happy because you know she was right with God and she knew where she was going and she was ready to go and uh, it's difficult to not mourn somebody that uh, is special to you with that being said I'm going to build this kit and I'm going to uh, make it a tribute to her so I'm gonna call this build the SMWG Tribute Build. It's a 2016 Camaro SS Black Concept. She had a 2016 Camaro. And on the back window, she had a pink cancer survivor sticker. 
and I'm going to try and figure out a way that I can take this image. I want to shrink it down and I want to transfer it over to some decal paper and try and put this on the back window of, uh, of this model when I get it built. Okay, so the cancer awareness bill. This is the kit that I got. It's an AMT 2016 Camaro SS and it says that it is a new tooling molded in red, um, 125th scale. Of course, it's got pictures of the interior, the engine. Uh, gives you some uh, information about the Camaro itself. Uh, authentic engine, removable hood, detailed underbody, plated wheels, blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, um, the plated wheels on this, as well as the concept Camaro, I'm probably going to put them in a bath of super clean and see if I can't get the plating off of them because for this one to make the blacked out Camaro, the black concept, um, I'm going to want or need to paint these wheels black. So I want to get the, uh, the plating off of them so that I can paint them. And on the concept Camaro, I want those to look like aluminum. So I want to get the chrome plating off of those as well. So anyway, that's kind of what I got coming up. I know that I said in some previous videos that I was going to be working on a, uh, on a Chevrolet Chevelle 1970 Chevy Chevelle model that I bought. I've got a GTO model that I need to work on. I've got a whole bunch of Navy airplane models that I need to work on. But honestly, right now, I think I'm going to put all those on hold just because I really want to do this cancer awareness build. So this has meaning to me. And I know that for some of you guys already done the cancer awareness build that, uh, you know, it really has a meaning to you as well. And, and I get it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, I forgot to tell you that uh, went out today and also got these over at Lowe's. I figure Rust-Oleum, I'm gonna give this stuff a try. So this is uh, Rust-Oleum high performance wheel paint. You know, I need to touch up the wheels on my car as well. So I might actually use this uh, for touch up paint for the car, but probably gonna use this on the models. And then of course I bought gloss black uh, because my blacked out Camaro is going to be black and uh, so we're going to give it a shot with, with some Rust-Oleum there. So anyway, that's about all I got. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much and I really hope that each and every one of you have a really, really great day.